A trend I have been seeing a lot more lately is something called the folding scalpel. These are knives with replaceable blades, but they're not the same as normal pocket knives. So I want to talk today about what they're good for and what they're not good for so that you would know if you might want or need one of these. This is one that I've had for a while. This is an Olatans folding scalpel. Uh, it came with about 10 different blades. Uh, so they come with blades. The blades are replaceable. Uh, and the nice thing about that is that you don't really ever have to sharpen them. So if you hate sharpening knives, that's the first thing why these might be really good for you. Uh, they're lighter duty. This is a very lightly built knife. So if you're doing things like opening your mail with it, right, you can do that pretty easily. It's good for that. Uh, it's good for lighter duty cutting tasks. You could cut something uh, as tough as paracord with this. It'll do that okay, right? It's also good for light duty stuff. I, I call them snack knives, right? These are great for opening your bag of chips at lunch, right? Something that light duty would be a great instance where this might be all the knife you would need. Uh, the good thing about them is the replaceable blades, but that's also the drawback of these. Because that replaceable blade is very thin, it's very flexible, right? You can see as I'm getting that up on the background there, I can bend that very easily with my fingers. It is just not a super sturdy blade. So anything involving prying or harder materials or things like that is gonna be a challenge for these little blades. This is just a uh, bamboo dowel. This is what I do my standard uh, edge retention testing with all my knives I review on. Uh, this struggles, like I can't even really get uh, a full cut through that dowel with that, even pushing pretty hard. Uh, you can see I cut about half of it away and I could feel this thing flexing and bending and just not liking the fact that I was pushing that hard on it. You can do little shavings off of a dowel, right? I can do some little feather sticking kind of stuff like that. But if I'm trying to carve through that, like I would with a normal knife, I can literally feel the blade twist in that locking mechanism. And as you can see, I just, uh, when I did that right now, the blade had popped up like this, uh, where it wanted to come off of the blade mount and I had to pop it back down, kind of like that. So these are not any kind of wood carving or harder use or uh, any really kind of hard material knives. It's just not, not up to that. I'm gonna take it apart and kind of show you the construction of it a little bit. Here is the scalpel next to my Kaiser splinter. So this was just the smallest, lightest built knife that I have. Uh, and this is the scalpel. So you can see these bearings are really tiny uh, as opposed to the normal larger bearing setup. Uh, the stop pin is really, really small. Again, this is a small stop pin for a regular folding knife, and it's way larger and sturdier uh, than this. The liner lock mechanism on the other side of the knife here uh, is inside of here, and you can see that's just a very small, thin piece of metal. I can, I can bend it pretty easily uh, all around with my thumb. You can see I can flex that over quite a bit just by pushing on it. So just a very lightly built lock and pivot mechanism, and it's just not up to uh, taking a whole lot of force. While these are very satisfying flipper knives, the action is great. I love the Altem handles on this one. This particular knife comes, like I said, it comes with about 10 different blades from in the original packaging. Uh, it comes in a lot of different handle materials and colors. Uh, so they're very lightweight. They're very carryable. They're very easy. And you'll forget this, this is even in your pocket. Uh, they're just not up to super hard use or even moderately hard use. The other potential disadvantage to a folding scalpel, ironically enough, is sharpness. So these, you, we typically think of scalpels. We think of surgical blades. We think of like super sharp. This is a blade that I've used for pretty much what you saw, you've seen with it. Uh, I cut a little bit of paper with it also earlier. 
But if we take this and try to cut a piece of paper with it, it's okay. Uh, but you can see like there it's, it's, it's tearing, right? And this is a, a pretty new blade so that it didn't come. Yeah, you can see right there, I'm, I'm tearing that paper pretty good. It didn't come super sharp, even with a new blade from the factory. So if I compare this to uh, one of my knives, I did not sharpen this knife for the video. I just pulled it out of my case. Uh, if we'll compare this to the one that I sharpened with my work sharp, you'll be able to see this is just a much sharper, easier cut, right? There's no hanging up. There's no tearing, right? It's just a lot easier and it goes to, I hit a fold there at the very end and it, it was already kind of off center there. Uh, but if, if I try to cut that length with the, the scalpel, you're going to see it just, yeah, it's not, not nearly as sharp as a knife that I sharpened with my work sharp. Those are my thoughts on folding scalpels. If you have experience with folding scalpels, comment down below. Let me know what you think of them, uh, what you'd like to use them for. If you enjoyed this video and like me kind of giving pros and cons about different products, uh, different trends, uh, like the video. If you are not subscribed, please do so. I am also giving away stuff to my subscribers here coming up soon. So if you want to be in on that, check out my shorts and the video on the official rules and get yourself ready to be subscribed and maybe win some stuff. So thank you for watching and I hope that is a helpful review.